Hello YouTube. We've got a little bit of a different kind of video for you today. So I was working in my journal and I was looking to make a calendar and I thought I would share it with you. And here's why. So I don't know if you are like me, but I watch a lot of journaling videos on YouTube. I love them because I love journals, but I put so much pressure on myself that it has to be like beautiful and perfect. And it just doesn't. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to work for you. And so many of the people that I watch on these channels are just like incredible artists and their journals look unreal. And it's not realistic for me. I don't have a lot of drawing skills. I really can only draw like lettering. I can do pretty okay. But beyond that, it's not going to happen. So, you know, I'm holding myself to an unrealistic standard and I thought that it might be like nice and relatable to see me make this calendar in my journal because it's not a perfect calendar. It's just, you know, the best that I can do and something that I know I'm going to use. So let me walk you through it a little bit. I first drew it in pencil and now I'm just going over with Sharpie pen. The lines are not perfect. I don't use a ruler. I just kind of hope for the best. <laughs> and um, Sharpie pen is great. They're really nice. Really, uh, they don't smear. They dry really quickly. They don't leak through most papers that I've used as well. Really, really love the Sharpie pen. So I'm using that now and I just counted, you know, I counted the grid squares for the number of weeks I wanted and then for the number of days in the week. As you can see, it's not perfect. I messed up and miscounted and the last two weeks are a little bigger which I don't know how that even happened but I was like I can't go back and fix it I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it moving so uh yeah but this is a, a, a calendar that I'm gonna use for like YouTube planning content planning uh this journal that I'm in right now is a little bit multi-purpose I've been using it for just like lists and note taking at my new job and doing some financial planning and just like kind of a brain dumpy place. I find dumpy is not a good word. Sorry, I just <laughs> did like how I said that. Um, a brain like release. No, wait, that's not good. <laughs> Guys, I can't do this voiceover again. So I'm keeping this in and I hope you enjoy it. Um, <laughs> um, this journal has become kind of just like an everything scratch pad and I really like graph paper for that purpose because it allows you to make things like this calendar a little easier. And um, yeah, I just really, really like square or graph paper um, for this kind of purpose. And I also like writing on it too, actually. I've had a couple journals that I've used like a lot of uh, and almost totally finished where they were graph paper. I really love it. Um, so yeah, so now I'm just erasing the pencil marks and that's the other thing about Sharpie Pen is as long as you give it like a couple minutes to fully dry, it will not smear when you erase it. So totally recommend Sharpie Pen for this type of thing. And um, yeah, and it doesn't smear on your hand as well. So that's one of the reasons that they are my go-tos. Uh, and then I'm just gonna add a little pop of color. This is a Zebra Midliner. Um, these are really popular and I didn't use them for a long time. I didn't like take the leap, but now I did and I love them. They're so nice. They do leak through some types of paper. Like I use them a lot in my college. Like I'm taking some college classes and it's like my note taking homework doing notebooks. And sometimes they do leak through, but not too often you just might want to do like a tester on whatever notepad you're using but the good thing about them is a they come in like beautiful colors including really subtle ones like this is like an olive green and this was in a pack that had i'll link it below and i'll link this notebook below as well um but it's like a olive green and it came with like all these different like tans and browns and i use them all the time i love 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 them and they have the dual tip so one tip is the like typical highlighter tip. And then the other side is like a fine, uh, a fine tip marker. Love, I've been using the markers even more than I use the highlighter, honestly. They're just really nice to have in my pencil case. And 
they let me add a little pop of color like this, which kind of makes it feel fancier than it really is. <laughs> but um, highly recommend the Zebra Midliner. And I want to try even more of their markers, honestly, now that I know how much I like these highlighters. They're just really, really good. So I added like a little shadow to the letters. That's something I do a lot as well because it's very simple. Um, but basically just like highlighting one side of the letter and it just like gives it a little bit of a shadow and uh, I'm now I'm just highlighting the days of the week to add a little color as well and I, I'm gonna use this calendar a lot and I know I will uh, I don't know if you have the planner problem that I have <laughs> I have so many planner problems but mainly the problem is that I buy a planner every year if not more than once a year, and then I, I don't use it. I get sick of it, or I just stop filling it, or I miss a month, and then I feel like I can't, maybe this is like a Virgo brain thing, but like I'll miss a month, and then I'll be like, well, I can't do it now because I missed that whole month, so it's, <laughs> it's like, who cares? Just use the planner. But um, yeah, so I've been trying to find what's going to work for me, and I am using one right now that I like, kind of like, but I'm already getting restless. So in those times where it's like I'm in between planners, I can't find what works, a little calendar spread like this is quick but makes you feel like you're on top of things. And it's a really great way to start a month, um, just to have a fresh calendar where you can look at everything all at once. And even if you do have a planner, making a calendar like this can be really nice for like a specific topic or subject or something like that um highly recommend so I added a little shadow to just the one side of the box which kind of makes it look like it's popping up I learned that from someone here on YouTube I'm sure and now I'm just outlining the shadow to just make it raised even a little bit more and I drew some like sparkles <laughs> in the corner again something I learned from here on YouTube that uh, sparkles are a very effective thing to draw and they are very simple, which is <laughs> which is why uh, it works for me. So I'm just kind of touching up the color inside the line to make sure there's not too much white empty space, but it's not perfect. And I think I also add, yeah, I just outlined the sparkles with the Sharpie pen as well. And it's just a really simple calendar. I hope that the message I'm trying to spread with this video is getting across correctly, which is like, just like, don't feel like you have to make these works of art when you just want to have some fun in your journal and make something that you know is going to work for you. Do you know what I mean? That was what I was thinking when I made this. It's functional, but it's still kind of cute. And it makes my brain feel nice <laughs> that I know I always have this with me in my journal. So I don't know. I hope that that made sense. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you soon.